Christian author and talk radio personality Harold Camping, 87, and his radio group out of California, Family Radio, just spent $100 million telling us that the rapture would occur on Saturday, May 21st. Not surprisingly, since we're all still here, most of us anyway, the rapture did not take place. He now says, also not surprisingly, that the rapture has now been postponed until October 21st. The fact that Mr. Camping keeps fudging the date on the end of times does not surprise me, since he's done this several times before in the past. What surprises me is that the media actually paid attention to it. People like Camping give those who choose to worship the religion of their choice a bad name. It gives Christianity a bad name, too. I wonder if the people who gave to Family Radio could somehow get their money back by way of lawsuits since he has obviously uh, misfired on the target date. But what irks me the most is that how this man misrepresents the Bible. I take it he has never read Matthew 24:36. This particular verse is clear that no one should have advanced knowledge of the rapture. It reads, according to the New Living Translation of the Bible of 2007, as follows. However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows. Sounds to me like Harold Camping is a false prophet, whose 15 minutes of fame has now reached all zeros on his scoreboard clock. This has been today's blog entry of the Big Poly Video Channel. I am Paul Blum. Today was the 25th of May, 2011, or is today, depending on when you see this. And I will catch you all again real soon. Bye-bye for now.